China is the world's leader in electricity production from renewable energy sources, with over triple the generation of the second-ranking country, the United States. China's renewable energy sector is growing faster than its fossil fuels and nuclear power capacity, and is expected to contribute 43% of global renewable capacity growth. China's total renewable energy capacity exceeded 1,000 gigawatts in 2021, accounting for 43.5% of the country's total power generation capacity, 10.2 percentage points higher than in 2015. The country aims to have 80% of its total energy mix come from non-fossil fuel sources by 2060 and achieve a combined 1,200 gigawatts of solar and wind capacity by 2030. In 2023, it was reported that China was on track to reach 1,371 gigawatts of wind and solar by 2025, five years ahead of target due to new renewables installations smashing records. Although China currently has the world's largest installed capacity of hydro, solar and wind power, its energy needs are so large that in 2019, renewable sources provided 26% of its electricity generation compared to 17% in the US, with most of the remainder provided by coal power plants. In early 2020, renewable energy comprised about 40% of China's total installed electric power capacity and 26% of total power generation. By 2021, it had grown to 29.4% of total power generation. The share of renewables in total power generation is expected to continue increasing to 36% by 2025 in line with China's pledge to achieve carbon neutrality before 2060 and peak emissions before 2030. China sees renewables as a source of energy security and not just only to reduce carbon emission. China's Action Plan for the Prevention and Control of Air Pollution issued by China's State Council in September 2013 illustrates the government's desire to increase the share of renewables in China's energy mix. Unlike oil, coal and gas, the supplies of which are finite and subject to geopolitical tensions, renewable energy systems can be built and used wherever there is sufficient water, wind, and sun. China is also major leader of clean energy technology. As Chinese renewable manufacturing has grown, the costs of renewable energy technologies have dropped dramatically due to both innovation and economies of scale from market expansion. In 2015, China became the world's largest producer of photovoltaic power, with 43 gigawatts of total installed capacity. From 2005 to 2014, production of solar cells in China has expanded 100-fold however, China is not expected to achieve grid parity when an alternate source of energy is as cheap or cheaper than power purchased from the grid until 2022. The country is the world's largest investor in renewable energy, with the country's companies accounting for four of the world's five biggest renewable energy deals made in 2016. In 2017, investments in renewable energy amounted to 279.8 billion US dollars worldwide, with China accounting for 126.6 billion US dollars or 45% of the global investments. According to researcher Dr. Cornelia Treyman, China has since become the world's largest investor, producer and consumer of renewable energy worldwide, manufacturing state-of-the-art solar panels, wind turbines and hydroelectric energy facilities as well as becoming the world's largest producer of electric cars and buses. As of year in 2021 hydroelectric power remains by far the largest component of renewable electricity production at 1,340 TWh. Wind power provided the next largest share with 655 TWh followed by biofuels at 44 TWh solar PV power started from a low base of just 152 GWh in 2008 and has grown rapidly since then to reach over 327 TWh by 2021. The overall share of electricity generated from renewable sources based on the figures in the above table has grown from a little over 17% in 2008 to a little over 27.7% by 2021. Solar and wind power continue to grow at a rapid pace. By the end of 2019, the country had a total capacity of 790 GW renewable power, mainly from hydroelectric, solar and wind power. By the end of 2019, China's hydropower capacity reached 356 gigawatts. China's installed capacity of solar power reached 252 gigawatts and wind power capacity was 282 gigawatts as of 2020. By 2020, installed power for hydropower, wind, solar and biomass had increased to 385 gigawatts, 299 gigawatts, 
282 gigawatts and 35.34 gigawatts, respectively. China has the largest wind resources in the world and three quarters of this natural resource is located at sea. Per its 13th five-year plan, China aimed to have 210 gigawatts of wind power capacity by 2020. IT exceeded that goal, reaching 276 gigawatts of onshore wind power by the end of 2020. China encourages foreign companies, especially from the United States, to visit and invest in Chinese wind power generation. However, use of wind energy in China has not always kept up with the remarkable construction of wind power capacity in the country. In 2008 China was the fourth largest producer of wind power after the United States, Germany, and Spain. At the end of 2008, wind power in China accounted for 12.2 gigawatts of electricity generating capacity. By the end of 2008, at least 15 Chinese companies were commercially producing wind turbines and several dozen more were producing components. Turbine sizes of 1.5 MW and 2 MW became common. Leading wind power companies were Goldwind, Dongfang, and Sinovel. China also increased the production of small-scale wind turbines to about 80,000 turbines, 80 MW, in 2008. Through all these developments, the Chinese wind industry appeared unaffected by the global financial crisis, according to industry observers. By 2009 China had total installed wind power capacity up to 26 gigawatts. China has identified wind power as a key growth component of the country's economy. As of 2010, China has become the world's largest maker of wind turbines, surpassing Denmark, Germany, Spain, and the United States. The initial future target set by the Chinese government was 10 gigawatts by 2010, but the total installed capacity for wind power generation in China had already reached 25.1 gigawatts by the end of 2009. In September 2019, Norwegian energy firm Equinor and state-owned China Power International Holding CPIH, announced their plan to cooperate in developing offshore wind in China and Europe. In 2020, China deployed 71.7 gigawatts of wind energy capacity, a 60% increase compared to 2019 and more than the rest of the world combined. In the year 2022, China is set to install more 56 gigawatts of wind turbines, of which 50 gigawatts are from onshore wind and 6W from offshore wind turbines. China produces 63% of the world's solar photovoltaics, PV. It has emerged as the world's largest manufacturer as of June 2015. Following the new incentive scheme of Golden Sun announced by the government in 2009, there are numerous recent developments and plans announced by industry players that became part of the milestones for solar industry and technology development in China, such as the new thin film solar plant developed by Anwal Technologies in the Hunan province using its own proprietary solar technology. The agreement was signed by LDK for a 500 megawatt solar project in the desert, alongside First Solar and Ordo City. The effort to drive the renewable energy use in China was further assured after the speech of the Chinese president given at the UN Climate Summit on September 22, 2009 in New York, pledging that China would adopt plans to use 15% of its energy from renewable sources within a decade. China has become a world leader in the manufacture of solar photovoltaic technology, with its six biggest solar companies having a combined value of over $15 billion. Around 820 megawatts of solar PV were produced in China in 2007, second only to Japan. Following a report from China Renewable Energy Engineering Institute, in 2022 China is set to install more 100 gigawatts of solar panels. On April 6, 2007, the Gansu Dang River Hydropower Project was registered as a Clean Development Mechanism CDM, project in accordance with the requirements of the Kyoto Protocol to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The project consists of the construction and operation of eight run of river hydropower plants providing total capacity of 35.4 gigawatts, which will generate an average of 224 GWh slash year. The project is located in Dang Town, Subay Mongolian Autonomous County, Gansu, China, and was certified by the National Development and Reform Commission NDRC, to be in compliance with the measures for the operation and management of clean development mechanism projects in China. The power generated by the project will be sold to the Gansu Power Grid which is part of the China Northwest Regional Power Grid NWPG. This will displace equivalent amounts of electricity generated by the current mix of power sold to the NWPG. 
The developer of the Gansu Dang River Hydropower Project, which started construction on November 1, 2004, is the Jiaguan City Tongyuan Hydropower Company, Limited. The letter of approval of the NDRC permits the Jiaguan City Tongyuan Hydropower Company. Limited to transfer to Japan Carbon Finance, Limited, an entity approved by the government of Japan no more than 1.2 megatons of carbon dioxide emissions in total certified emission reductions, CERs, over the seven-year period beginning on May 1, 2007, and ending on April 30, 2014. In 2006, there were 10 gigawatts of installed hydropower capacity that went into operation in China. The National Development and Reform Commission also approved 13 additional hydropower projects in 2006, which cumulatively will have 19.5 gigawatts of power generating capacity. The following hydroelectric power projects completion date and capacity, Jinsha River Ziangjiaba Dam, 6,000 megawatts, 2014, the Lansong Rivers Jinghong Dam, 1,750 megawatts, 2008, and the Wu River Silin Dam, 1,080 megawatts, 2008. The Jinsha Rivers Ziluadu, 2014, 12,600 megawatts, the Yellow Rivers Laksiwa Dam, 2010, 4,200 megawatts, and the Yalong River Urtun, first phase, 3,600 megawatts, 1999, by heating the Jinsha River, 4,200 megawatts, 2022. China emerged as the world's third largest producer of ethanol based biofuels, after the U.S. and Brazil. At the end of the 10th five-year plan period in 2005 and at present ethanol accounts for 20% of total automotive fuel consumption in China. In the 11th five-year plan period, 2006 through 2010, China planned to develop 6 megatons slash year of fuel ethanol capacity, which is expected to grow to 15 megatons slash year by 2020. Despite this level of production, experts say that there will be no threat to food security, though there will be an increasing number of farmers who will be farming oil if the price of crude oil continues to increase. Based on planned ethanol projects in some provinces in China, the output of corn would be insufficient to provide the raw material for plants in these provinces. In the recently published World Economic Outlook, the International Monetary Fund expressed concern that there would be increasing competition worldwide between biofuels and food consumption for agricultural products and that that competition would likely continue to result in increases in the price of crops. Work has begun on the 250 million yen Kaiyu Green Energy Biomass rice husks, power generating project located in the Suqian City Economic Development Zone in Jiangsu. The Kaiyu Green Energy Biomass Power Project will generate 144 GWh slash year, equivalent to 16.5 MW, and use 200 kilotons slash year of crop waste as inputs. Bioenergy is also used at the domestic level in China, both in biomass stoves and by producing biogas from animal manure. Geothermal resources in China are abundant and widely distributed throughout the country. There are over 2,700 hot springs occurring at the surface, with temperatures exceeding 250 degrees Celsius. In 1990, the total flow rate of thermal water for direct uses amounted to over 9,500 kilograms per second, making China the second direct user of geothermal energy in the world. Recognizing geothermal energy as an alternative and renewable energy resource since the 1970s, China has conducted extensive explorations aiming at identifying high-temperature resources for electric generation. Until 2006, 181 geothermal systems had been found on mainland China, with an estimated generation potential of 1,740 megawatts. However, only seven plants, with a total capacity of 32 megawatts, had been constructed and were operating in 2006.